What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to view your Spotify list in history. It's not the most obvious thing, but there are two ways of doing this. One of them only shows recently played songs and the other one goes way, way back. So simply opening up Spotify on my computer here, I'm currently listening to something. If I click the playlist icon in the bottom right, then at the very top recently played, you'll see the last few recently played songs. Though it's not really a lot, it's probably 30 or 40 of them. How do we see the rest of our listen history? Well, it's relatively simple. Since rules were changed in Europe, pretty much every website or every big website lets you request and download all of your user data. That's exactly what we're going to do here from Spotify. It's a bit unfortunate that this can take some time, but when it's done, you'll see practically all the way back to the beginning of you using Spotify, more than just the last handful. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Spotify account overview. Simply head across here and you'll need to log into your Spotify account. When you've signed in, simply scroll down and choose privacy settings on the left hand side. Then scroll down to the very bottom here. If you want, you can turn off these. Yes, I do definitely want to turn these off. All the way at the bottom here, download your data. We can download playlists, search queries, streaming history, which is what we're interested in here for the past year etc, etc. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom, there's a few different buttons here. First of all, click request as step one, tick the box and prove you're not a robot. Okay, then we simply need to confirm something from our email. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes to come through. When it does eventually come through, click confirm. And upon doing so, we're back here. We are preparing your data. This can take up to 30 days to complete. You'll receive an email when it's ready to download. Simply scrolling down to the bottom, or at least coming back to the page and scrolling down, you'll see it's currently in step two. Then finally, step three, we'll get an email with a download link. We just need to make sure to check it and download it. So there's nothing more to do now other than wait. If you would like a better way of tracking your Spotify list in history, one of these services that I'm not sponsored by, but definitely do enjoy is Last FM. Essentially, you can link Spotify, Google Play Music, which I think is YouTube Music, and a ton of different platforms that simply tracks your listening. Listens are simply Scrobbles, a very weird name. But you can check your pretty much extended listening history here, get those Spotify wrapped like things pretty much whenever you want, weeks, month, yearly, etc. See what you're listening to, see suggestions, etc. It's a really useful site, at least for me. And of course, you can add your friends too. Again, I'm not paid or sponsored to do this. I just personally enjoy their service. All we have to do is come to apps on the Spotify page here, and you can see Last FM is linked here, the Last FM Scrobbler. Track what you listen to on any Spotify connected device, and it gets added to your Last FM profile. If you'd like to set this up in the description down below, you'll find a Last FM guide. However, you need to set this up in order to start recording a history. You cannot retroactively add songs here. Expanding more tracks, you can see 23,000 over the years. We can click a year to go to it, and you can go to a month, day, etc., and get all the way down to super granular history, showing you absolutely everything, including YouTube and other platforms as well. So I definitely, definitely do like this website. But if you do want, I'm pretty sure you can make your account private if you so wish to keep your listening habits private. There we go. Three days has passed, and now I've received the email. This is what you'll see. Your personal data is ready to download. You have 14 days to download it. So I'll click download here and we'll be taken back to the privacy page where a zip file is now downloaded. I'll click on it to open it up and I'll extract all of the files into a folder, say on my desktop here. So inside the zip is my data, then a bunch of files here. I'll drag them all out and drop them in the folder. I can close the zip and delete it if I wish. If you come back to the privacy page at a later date in a different browser or simply come back to this page, you'll see step three and there's a recent email button here to get your files downloaded once more. Anyways, I'll close out of the browser and now we're looking at these files here. What we're looking for is streaming history, possibly zero or one, two, three, four, etc. depending on how many songs you've listened to. You can open these up with a normal text editor and scroll through it however you please, but this is all data presented to you in JSON format. If you'd like to read it in something more easily, like a CSV, which is Excel, Google Sheets, there's a much easier way to do this. So simply Google searching for a JSON to CSV website. This is one of the links that came up. The first one asked me to subscribe to download it, which I won't be doing. I'll simply select my streaming history and either upload it if there's an upload button available. There's one up here. There we go. 
or you can open it up and copy paste all of your JSON into a text area like this. Then I'll click convert. There we go, convert. And everything should appear on the right hand side in just a moment. There's a lot, so my browser will be very slow. Click download on this page, for example. Then we have a CSV file. I can open this up with say Microsoft Excel and it should work properly. Otherwise we see something like this where it's not separated into the correct columns. Don't worry, Google Sheets won't have this issue. All we have to do is open this file. So I'll simply right click this, click edit to open it with notepad. And at the very top, I'll type in sep equals comma. Then I'll save it, close it and reopen it with Excel. This time you should see things are defined properly. I can make these a bit bigger to show properly. There we go. MS played is how many milliseconds it was played for, track name, artist name, and end time are all listed here. To make this table sortable, I can select all of these columns here, click the sort and filter button, then filter, and from the drop down, I can sort by largest to smallest, for example. This is essentially the longest song you've listened to, all the way down to the least amount of time spent in a song. So, all the way down here. These I've apparently listened to for zero seconds. Anyways, of course, we can do the same with these other streaming history files here. And that's really about that. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.